So let's suppose we want to determine how much work is done by a person on an object when that person carries that object up an inclined plane. So we have a person that walks up an inclined plane with a constant velocity and carries a box with a mass of 20 kilograms up the inclined plane. Now if the height of the inclined plane is 20 meters, determine the work done on the box by the person and also what exactly is the net work done. Well let's begin by looking at our diagram. So notice that the displacement of the box along the y-axis, along the vertical axis, is equal to the height of the inclined plane. So we know what our object, what the box displaces along the y-axis. So in order to find the work, we have to find the force acting in the same direction as motion. So we have to find the work that, po that points in the positive direction along the y-axis. So let's look at our free body diagram for the box. So we have two forces acting on the box. We have the force of gravity pointing downward and the force the person creates on the box pointing upward. Now notice that we have constant velocity. So that means we have zero acceleration. And according to the uh, second law of motion, if we sum up these forces, their sum is equal to zero. So let's choose going downward to be positive, going upward to be negative. So that means the force of gravity minus the force created by the person on the box is equal to zero because we have constant velocity and therefore zero acceleration. So we solve for this force and we see that the force created by the person on the box is equal to m times g, mass of the box times the gravitational constant g. So we found the force acting in the same direction of motion. It's the force created by the person on the box given by Fp. So, what is the work? Well, we can use our formula. Work equals the force that acts in the same direction as displacement multiplied by our displacement. So this force is simply our force created by the person Fp multiplied by displacement. And since Fp is equal to m times g, we replace Fp with m times g. So we get mass of the object, 20 kilograms, multiplied by g, 9.8 meters per second squared, and multiplied by, that, uh, by our vertical displacement, 20 meters, and we get that the work done by the person on the box is 3,920 joules. In other words, the person gives this many joules to the box and the person loses this many joules. So that means the net force done is zero. So the net force is the work gained by the box plus the work lost by the person. So the box gains this many joules and the person loses this many joules. And that means we simply add up these two values and we get a network of zero joules is done in our problem.